with his final ball, chose not to uh, take the spare. The two pins that were available just looked at a strike delivery. And we'll see now if he did learn anything from that. Now that ring in 10 is uh, hanging around once more. Well, it was an open frame to begin game one for Barrett. It's a spare. He seems to be just standing in the same area of the approach. He's got the same ball. I think he's thrown pretty much the same line. <laughs> Rings the 10 and counts uh, all 10. So that's a great start for Payang. Giving him a very good life, and he appreciates that. Dominic Barrett has it all ahead of him and has a strike in frame two to settle the nerves. Yeah, certainly used the full width of the lane that time. Dominic threw the ball out really wide to the right-hand side and just let it flip up a bit. And revved itself right up, came roaring back to the pocket. See, he's almost to the outside boards there and still comes back. Lane. To the, uh... We'd see a very different uh, movement on the left-hand side for uh, Pang Nevermasino. Although Cassie is using a ball that's going to give him a lot of uh, a lot of reaction. Yeah, that's right. It's a very aggressive bowl bowling ball he's using. So he needs to keep the speed up just to hang it hang it in there. So it's turning almost as, as soon as it touches the lane. But uh, hey, he's thrown, thrown two strikes in a row and he's on a 300 game. How about that? Well, that would be sensational. Double for <laughs> for Pang. Just Ooh. about a strike for Dominic Barrett to make it a double for him. Quite a contrast. Messino from working a double, looking for Turkey here. Oh, he's got a bit of luck himself. Just nudges that tempin over. Yeah, so I think he's he very to get a bit of a bounce there, Cass. Yeah, he did. A bit of a double whammy, and he's also up his up his speed a little bit. Great work. Very, very good work. Barrett turns in a turkey. Yeah, Dom's using the whole width of this lane. He's played several different lines, using the whole area and getting the reaction and making the pocket. We'll see how long it holds up for him. Again, pretty aggressive delivery from Fang Nevermasino, and he's getting a good mix in that back end now. And he's still on 300 games, Simon. That's not like you, Cass, to talk about the maximum so early. Wouldn't it be fantastic for this man to shoot a 300 on television? Oh, and I mean that there. sincerely. Oh, it would be sensational. The level of bowling that he did for as long as he did was uh, quite simply spectacular. Barrett then gets four in a row. And the young man not being phased at all at the moment by his... Uh, Pushing hard and finding that pocket with uh, regularity now. Well, it's given the uh, his supporters, the Filipinas that are here, given something to uh, shout about, wave the flags and cheer. And that's how things stand at the halfway point. Brilliant work from both bowlers, but it's Nepa Messino still on for the maximum and on for the point. Messino from the Philippines asking some questions of this young man and the responses have been swift and they've been decisive from Dominic Barrett well, he's dealing with this this whole thing uh, he's been in this World Temping Masters a couple of times before he's played in the Weber Cup now and he's getting closer and closer to the real deal Pang to continue this run of strikes and he's got it now comes the seven pin <laughs> and that maximum is becoming a possibility ball by ball. Yeah, I think one or two other people have realised that as well. Reaches down the lane and just gets that lazy okay. seven pin out. Bowling tremendously well in this second game. Oh, yes. A yeah. really good shot from Dominic. Absolute under pressure from Pang. Just sails it into the one. Strikes, three. that means. It's good. Looks solid all the way down. You can see the different ball speeds and revolutions between the two players, but Nefert Messino proving that that isn't the be all and end all as long as you're in the pocket, as long as you've got your angles right, you'll keep getting the strikes. I'm sure that there's a few routing for Pang to pick up. 
the big score. Barrett trying to stay with him and staying with him very well. And what Dominic Barrett is basically doing is saying to Pang, look, if you slip up once, I'm there. 300 and Dom will shoot 290 and lose. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's unbelievable. Pang then, come on. Oh, he hit the head pin, but he's got them all down. Oh, he'll oh, take that. Is, he enjoyed that one. This is the old Pang, the, 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 the 300. Oh, gosh, don't even go there, Simon. Yeah, good work from Barrett. And he is heading towards that magic score. His aggregate's going to be sky high. This is turning into a match and a half, isn't it? Everybody's a little bit quiet during the first game. He's on it in this second game, and it's paying off. Big delivery here. Foundation frame. No, no, he finally, finally came inside his mark. And he's left a bit of a count there, and that's opened the door right back up for Dominic Barrett. Certainly has, yes. Just a seven count. <clears throat> yeah, he's disappointed. And only takes two, and unfortunately, that may well be the game gone, unfortunately. What a shame for Pang, what a shame for this crowd. That could have been something special indeed. It's still going to be a good score. But it's not the 300 maximum that was definitely on and the foundation frame, unfortunately, the one where Pang Nepomuceno just slips up and he is really angry with himself. First bit of emotion we've seen. Shoots another league. strike and he's going to win this game. And that's it. Earns himself two extra balls in the 10th frame. Well, that's gutsy. That's so gutsy from the young Englishman. He stayed with it and stayed with it. And now he's got his reward right at the end of the match. Two more strikes for a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, just getting mixed up there. Dom wants to sit down. Pang wants to take his next shot. Yeah, caught up in the emotion of this. Barrett didn't even realise that he'd opened the door for the bonus balls. Dominic's bowled nine strikes in a row after a spare. Two more strikes here for the tournament high game of 290. And probably more important, the single point that will give him four points in the uh, round robin league table. Yeah, he's taking Group A to pieces at the moment. This for a comfortable lead on top of the table ahead of Guy Kaminsky. It's all good. It's all very good. Dominic Barrett has really captured the imagination of this British crowd. The, <laughs> the fan club always supplying plenty of great support, but uh, a lot of this Barnsley crowd right behind him. And along with Matt Chamberlain in this competition, I'll tell you what, the British fans, the home fans, have got a lot to cheer on. This for 11 strikes in a row and a game of 290. I can say no more. That is absolutely crazy bowling from Dominic Barrett. Looked like he was out of it, and Pang Nepomuceno struck and struck and struck all the way through to the ninth, and it's still not going to be good enough because Dominic Barrett, with a tournament high score of 290, takes the point in this game. Nepomuceno then will be given a rousing send off. He's not out of the tournament yet. An aggregate very important to him now, and I'm afraid it's fading ball by ball. And after that 165 in game one, he's under a lot of pressure now going in to the last round of matches in the group stage. Oh, a disappointment for Pang. You can see that in his face. And it's a cruel game, Cass. Five minutes ago, this man was on for a maximum. It will be a score of 250 plus, but he's going to get a standing ovation from this uh, Barnsley crowd. Look at that. Everybody getting up to their feet now. Partly in praise of Dominic Barrett, but very much in praise of a spirited effort from the legend that is Pang Nepomuceno. But Dominic Barrett flying now in this tournament. Really solid bowling in his second match under the severest of pressure in that uh, second game as well, but he's come away with the point. 290 plays, 255. To give